welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. <clears throat> so, no matter what I try to do, I keep getting the same sort of message. So, this message won't be for everybody, but for somebody, there's something going on that might involve addiction of some sort. And <clears throat> it keeps coming out on the table that somebody helped somebody. It, it looks like to me that it's like a repeating pattern. Like it keeps happening over and over again. And somebody's stuck in this low vibe energy because of an addiction. Like maybe they keep coming to you for money. And then they promise you they're going to give it back. And then they use it for the wrong reason. Thinking that they're going to get it back. They don't get it back. So they can't give it back to you. And now they've kind of withdrawn from the situation to think about what's happening. It's like spirit is finally showing this person. And you've been patient. I'm hearing that song, Someone by Aaron Lewis. I wasn't perfect, you were patient. I think you've been patient with this person and they keep expecting you to get angry and to blow up and because you don't do that and because you keep a level head about you and you're trying to set good boundaries with this person, it's, uh, it's, it's causing them to have to look at what they're doing. And so they've kind of withdrawn and they're in this isolated energy trying to think about this from a different perspective. I woke up this morning to a dream and in that dream it was the hanged man and the six of cups. So somebody is stuck thinking about a memory. It's like, but it's a repeating memory. It's something that they keep doing over and over again. And they're looking at this pattern and trying to see how can they break free from this pattern. But there's a devil energy attached to this pattern. And so for somebody, it's probably addiction. It could just be fear. But somebody's stuck in a pattern trying to break free. <clears throat> Spirit, show me what virtues are working in the collective right now to help this person or these people break free from this repeating pattern. Spirit says gentleness. Somebody's being gentle. Somebody's being gentle here. Somebody's being gentle. And they're having this patience. This is Sagittarian energy. And then we have self-control is what we don't see coming. There's going to be self-control. Somebody's being gentle and patient. And it's going to bring self-control to this situation. All right, Spirit. Can you show me how this happened? How are the angels working in this situation? And how did it happen? Angels are working in wisdom. Came out in reverse. So maybe somebody wasn't using their common sense. But wisdom is showing up here very strongly. All right. What was being hidden that the angels were working on, Spirit? <clears> throat chopper's throat> trying to close. What was being hidden is this past life and this faith. Now, I'm going to tell you that I don't think this is about a past lifetime, although it could be, if you believe in that, it could be something that you brought over into this lifetime with you, and you're clearing that karma now. But this reminds me of what I just said, that something that somebody's been doing in the past, and they're repeating it over and over, and it's like a never-ending re repeat cycle of karma. This person is having this because it's building faith. What you don't see, what's hidden, is that this stuff that's going on from the past is creating faith in somebody. Somebody's name might be Faith. Somebody has, like, sandy blonde hair. They may have it um, wavy, crinkly waves. Or maybe you had it in a braid and you took the braid out and it's wavy. Somebody has beautiful, beautiful blonde hair. Straight, beautiful blonde hair. You may have been out in nature recently and you were sitting on a log in nature. 
yellow flowers. There's yellow, a lot of yellow standing out to me in these pictures. Somebody might like to go somewhere where there's a swing. You might be about to have a swing in a wedding. Or maybe you've recently seen somebody have a swing in their wedding or in their wedding or prom pictures. All right, Spirit. What, 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 what's, the, what's being shown? How are the angels working on what's being shown here? A lot of songs came through this morning about addiction. So I almost believe this, this solitude, this person is isolating. They're isolating. And that's what we do when we're in addiction is we isolate. But what you don't see is that this repeat pattern is causing this person to look at their faith. They're looking at faith in God. And that song, whether it's a bar stool or a church pew, this is this is what I do, and I talk to God. I can't remember who sings that. It might be Aaron Lewis. I love Aaron Lewis. <laughs> I love Aaron Lewis. If he was single, I'd be trying to pursue that. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, Aaron. Okay, and what is what is it? okay? What the, what the collective needs to do is to face this challenge. To face this challenge, and imagine. Imagine the challenge. Imagine the challenge that's going on here. And I do. I can imagine this is quite a challenge. Somebody in this solitude, in this isolation, they're isolating themselves so they can work through this and think about and imagine the law of attraction is having them in this isolation. So they have to think about what's happening here to break this pattern. This is a very strong ancestral pattern that somebody is trying to break free from. And then they have learning on the bottom of the deck for some reason. Somebody might be about to start learning something new. Somebody might be in school. All right, what spiritual gifts are operating spirit? What spiritual gifts are you using in this situation to help this person to break free from this ancestral pattern? There's a word for this in the Holy Scriptures. It's called, um, look, somebody's heart's broken. Somebody's heart is broken. This is going to be something that fixes a really big heartache. Look at this heart. Look at how bad that heart's broken. It might be a woman in their life that they've been hurting over and over again with this behavior. Somebody is, what is it called, spirit in the Holy Scriptures? Where you have one generation and then the next and it's just a generational curse. There's a generational curse being broken here. Somebody's got a generational curse and that's why this past life is here. Because this goes back lifetimes of people in this family that this person is stuck in this negative, low vibe, devil energy behavior. How else are you using spiritual gifts here? Spirit? What other spiritual gifts are operating here to help this person? This person is probably just now starting to wake up. And then there's that mirror. This person is having to face themselves and look at themselves in the mirror. And you might be that mirror. You might be, this could definitely be a twin plane where this person is stuck in this negative, low vibe, devil energy. And you have been gentle with them and patient. And it's causing them to learn self-control. Because they don't want to hurt you. They don't want to keep doing this over and over again. They don't even want to do it to themselves. But they especially don't want to hurt somebody who's been gentle and patient with them. You would have to have no conscience whatsoever. You would have to have no conscience. And you would have to be diabolical and a serial killer almost. You have to be at that level of psychotic to not have gentleness and patience affect you. And I see that this person has the ability. They have the ability to change. But this is ingrained in their very DNA. And it's an ancestral pattern that's been brought over from, uh, from a lot of different lifetimes through their genetics, down through the ages, 
to them. And they're finally looking at this to try and stop this pattern. This is beautiful. And what we don't see coming is that they're going to overcome this. They are going to overcome this. There will be a celebration overcoming this. And this is what's keeping this, uh, this whole thing stuck. Because this person has not been able to overcome this. <clears throat> Spirit, can you show us again, using Wisdom of the House of Night, how this happened? How did this happen, Spirit? Somebody took a risk. Collected. Somebody took a risk. You remember I said I thought that somebody had maybe borrowed some money from you? Maybe you took a risk in loaning this person some money because you knew this person has this ancestral pattern, but you wanted to believe that this person was going to do the right thing. So you gave this person some money to help them in some area of their life. And once again, they used it in the wrong way. And now they can't pay it back. Simple as that. All right, what's being hidden, spirit? What's being hidden? What's being hidden? Wow. What's being hidden is that somebody's moving. There's some movement. Something's moving. And this is like a justice type card. This is obedience. This is obedience. There's movement and obedience. And I just want to quickly tell us what that means so we, we don't get any wrong interpretations here. Movement. There's a horse here. Somebody might have on a red dress or may have worn a red dress with high heel shoes. Brown hair that comes down to about your bust line below your shoulders. This is a time of change and movement and a symbol of wonderful surprises. The Spirit has a surprise for us and there's going to be some movement and wonderful change. Change, movement, and a wonderful surprise. If you've been waiting for something, you will soon have clarity. You will get answers you thought would never come, and you will move closer to things that were out of reach before. Perhaps this card predicts a trip that, you're all, that you've always wanted to take. The symbol for movement can indicate both a change of scene and a real shift in the direction of your life. No matter what this symbol holds for your question, know that wonderful change is now possible. This is the time to make your move. So, somebody is having a profound change in this pattern, this ancestral pattern. And it has to do with obedience, which is number 48. Whatever this pattern is, it doesn't have to be drugs. It could be anything. It could be a workaholic. <laughs> it could be anything. Now, obedience is, there are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets and they dance together in perfect steps. What rules are you considering when you ask this question? You will be sorry if you are going to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is the time to obey what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. So there's something changing and it has to do with these rules that are set in place to protect us. Clarify what that means. Somebody can be in legal trouble. Let me pull a card on that. Spirit, can you talk to me about this obedience? Clarify this obedience. Yeah. It has to do with this exchanging. Passing stuff back and forth. What about they don't think? Passing stuff back and forth. They don't think what? What? I got the Knight of Cups and um, Chariot down there. And that's what kept coming out a while ago. They don't think that this passing stuff back and forth is working. <laughs> that's what I was just saying. They have just decided that, you know, 
I need to stop doing this because this is not right. It's just simply not right. It's not right to keep doing this. To keep doing this and taking this risk that can get me and whoever else is helping me with this in a lot of le legal trouble. It's just not right. It's not working. There's that hanged man. It's not working. That's what's being hidden is that this person is, is this is, there's a shift taking place. There's a huge shift in thinking going on here, collective. This person who was always so self-centered and never thought about anybody but themselves is finally realizing that this behavior, this passing stuff back and forth, they're, they, they've stopped thinking that it's working. They've realized it does not work. All right? What's being shown, Spirit, this person is isolating. What's being shown is that there's a tower coming. Somebody has a tower in reverse, which means they're resisting change. It looks like this person is resistant to this change. On the outside, you can't see what's happening on the inside, Spirit says. All right, so what can we see then? What is going on? Talk to us about this tower in reverse. Everything looks okay on the outside, but what is really going on on the inside, Spirit? Besides, they think it's not working. How are you working? Clarify this tower in reverse. Talk to me about this tower in reverse. It's about this lie. This tower in reverse is about the truth instead of a lie. Or the lie instead of the truth. What you don't realize about this <laughs> is that there's some truth coming out, sweetheart. <laughs> it's about to come out because this tower is going to fall. And when it does, <laughs> this person is about to see the truth instead of a lie. That is powerful. To get the tower with the ace of swords... Spirit is about to smack somebody upside the head with the truth, or already is. Spirit is showing somebody truth. Show me how they feel about this truth, Spirit. How do they truly feel? <clears throat> they have a lot of ideas. They have a lot of ideas. They're at a crossroads with this information with this they realizing it's not working this is huge for this person to realize it's not working show me the ideas that they're having show me these ideas somebody might have a child involved in their life in here <laughs> they know that this is almost over and they also know that what goes around comes around and that this is going to eventually get them in trouble What's the likely outcome right now with the way things are going in this person's mind and thoughts? What, what are they likely to do? Stop this dishonesty. Why is dishonesty here? Why is dishonesty here? Because they want to stop this. They're, they're tired of it. They're tired of this devil. They're tired of the way that they're being treated and they're tired of the way that they're treating the ones that they love. Because the people that they love have been patient and gentle with them. Not all of them, but you have, collector. And they were to get over this. They're tired of this and they're ready for this movement. This person wants to have movement away from this. They want to overcome this. And then we have trust on the bottom of the deck in reverse. Right now, they don't trust Spirit to take care of this. Let's go back to these cards. Spirit, show me what the collective should do. Now, this isn't them. This is you. Spirit says that you just need to keep loving this person. You just need to keep showing this person love. You need to have good boundaries. Somebody might have a, a, a 10 or a, a, a heart-shaped um, little box or thing that you can hold stuff in that's shaped like a heart and it might have a little tag on it maybe something you got for Valentine's Day Spirit says I want you to love but have good boundaries you're beautiful you are gorgeous 
All right. Just keep loving this person because they're about to overcome this. They are about to overcome this, and there is a celebration coming. I don't know what else to say to you, but it looks like this person is coming out of this. Can we see the most likely outcome of this situation, Spirit, if the collective loves this person unconditionally and sets good boundaries? What is the most likely outcome of this situation? Hopefully justice. <laughs> Hopefully justice. Judgment. That's good. Judgment. Oh, baby. You have manifested. Look, you have manifested this person to use good judgment. That's powerful. The magician in judgment is powerful. This is what's being manifested. is somebody to use good judgment. And it may just be you. Clarify judgment. <laughs> Look, there he is. This is him. This is him. And it might be a child of yours. He's young or he's a bit immature, but he has he has a lot of love in his heart. But the King of Cups is a very spiritual man. And a Knight of Cups is trying to grow into a king. Somebody has artificial breast, like a boob job. Maybe you have a nice Benz, Mercedes Benz, maybe an older model Benz. Somebody has a, um, a fountain in their yard. You might live in a fancy neighborhood that has fountains in the yard. Somebody likes to drink wine. Somebody has on a green shirt today and blue jeans. Somebody else has on a green shirt and black pants. Somebody has on a blue dress and heels. And somebody has black rimmed glasses, kind of like mine. Um, judgment is about this person. What about this person, Spirit? What about this person? Judgment is about this person what? Forgetting. This is Six of Cups, you remember? I saw that this morning. Forgetting what? The Six of Cups is about the good old days. Remembering the good old days. Forgetting... This commitment. And having independence. There's a commitment. They had forgotten this commitment. Or they had not forgotten it. But it was like. They were trying to forget. I think they were using these chemicals to forget about this commitment. And so that their heart wouldn't be broken. But in the process, Spirit is saying, I want to give you independence. Even though you made the wrong decision. I have the Hierophant, the Hangman, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles upright, and the Seven of Cups in reverse. Spirit is saying... I'm helping you with something that's been very difficult. There's, a, there's a, a higher level of commitment of some sort. That can be about a job. It can be about your spirituality. And I think in this case, it's about a twin flame relationship. Or it could just be their spirituality. Take it as it resonates. But this person, they're stuck in their spirituality. And they were using these chemicals so they wouldn't hurt. And maybe so that they could make money. They might have been selling drugs. And this is the bad choice that they made. But judgment is about this person seeing this. <laughs> if they can see this, that's huge. If they can see that they were using this to cover up the truth. And we see over here that this tower is about them seeing the truth. So this is what Spirit says the truth is. The truth is, is that this person was using... Hush! All of this to cover up the truth. 
And now, Spirit says, I'm giving you hope for this person. Clarify the magician, Spirit. Show me this magician. This magician is about somebody moving away from this stuff. That, that this ancestral pattern. You have manifested this person to see the truth and to step away, to have this movement, and to finally do things the right way. Wow, transformation on the bottom of the deck. Whew. Somebody's going through a huge shift today. A huge shift. Like, I don't even know what else to say to like them. Somebody is going to get recovery. Somebody's about to get the gift of recovery. Recovery. <coughs> All right, Spirit. Can I get... Y'all. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me find my cards. Look, did you notice that the dogs just started going crazy when I got to the truth about this situation? That's when everything went nuts. We can do crazy. We do crazy real good around here. We do crazy real good around here. What is that? Oh, it's one of my crystals. How about that? The solar plexus crystal was hidden under the thing. The I can. The I can crystal. Alright. And I would have never known it was under there if I hadn't have looked. What needs to be surrendered here, Holy Spirit? And remember, all of that's part of the reading. Huh? Spirit says, you need to just watch me, baby. Watch me and surrender to wonder and awe. Because I'm about to blow your gut, blow your gourd, and I'm going to show you a miracle. You're about to see a miracle in this person. Spirit is about to switch up on somebody. What else needs to be surrendered, Spirit? That people pleasing, I'm sure. And boundaries. Somebody's got to have some boundaries here. And those addictions. Spirit says, Did you, you don't need to do anything. You just need to be still and watch me work. Somebody might be in the unicorns. Somebody has on a tie-dye today. Just surrender to sheer joy and give up that fear you have of intimacy. How about the person that's addicted, Spirit? And to surrender your attachments to results. What else? Surrender to your intuition. What else, Spirit? Spirit's talking to you. And stop worrying. Anything else? Because apparently the person with this addiction is not watching this. Surrender your obsessive thinking. <laughs> Surrender to success and stop procrastinating. And I feel that. And then Spirit says, surrender to prayer. Just pray. Just pray for this person, collective. Because Spirit is about to do something amazing for them. Which is going to, in turn, help you. Alright, Spirit. How does the universe have our back here with this particular situation? How does the universe have our back? The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the, mo is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. What else, Spirit? What else? The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. And when I lean toward love, I am led. And then on the bottom of the deck, energy flows where my intention goes. So we just have to simply pray and release the outcome to Spirit Collective. The Spirit's got this person. We're about to see a miracle of ancestral pattern be broken over somebody's life. And that is impossible for us to do in our own strength. Those patterns have come through lifetimes and lifetimes. All right, Spirit, can you please give me a message for whoever this is out of this deck of cards right here? What message do you have for whoever's going through this, Spirit? What message do you have? What message do you have? All right. 
where can I create more space? Am I on the right path? And what do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? It says, instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do, create more sacred space in your schedule, your home, your mind, and your lungs, and your heart. Take time to just be that non-action. Today's soul action, De declutter and detox your schedule, home, and innermost self. Make space and your clarity will come. And I did that yesterday, as you can see. Am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path at all. Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean it's not real. Today's soul action. Today, search for all the ways you're aligned with your soul's purpose. The signs will appear. Let this newfound trust fuel your next steps. And what do you believe about money? How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you're worthy? Do you believe you're capable? Do you trust money and does money trust you? Money is an energy. It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it and it's your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. Today's soul action. Take a deep dive in your belief system around money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because... And that's the other thing that I'm working on. This reading is definitely for me as well, collective. And then on the bottom of the deck I have, am I focused on what I want most? One reason so few of us achieve what we truly want is that we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, never deciding to master anything in particular. Today's soul action, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values or do I need to make adjustments and then prioritize? All right. Spirit, can I get one more message for this reading one more message here or maybe two that go perfectly with this reading for the collective spirit what message would you like to give the collective right now spirit says sacred destiny sacred destiny spirit wants to give us a message out of sacred destiny for some reason what message do you have for us today out of sacred destiny holy spirit let me go with this reading. Spirit wants you to have inner peace. Inner peace and then wonders. Spirit wants you to have inner peace and wonders. And this is about a crystal, a purple crystal, maybe an amethyst. And there, I think I've seen it once, wonders, quartz crystal, natural rock crystal, clear amethyst, cistrine rose, and smoky quartz were all revered in ancient times. The Aborigines of Australia called it maven, which was the material through which their shamans and elders gained their magical powers. The Egyptians believed quartz had mystical healing abilities and would bury their dead with a piece of crystal on their forehead. The Greeks and Romans believed crystals were solid ice that had been formed by the gods and thus had magical powers. Even to present day, people believe that crystals can help manifest their intentions. Perhaps that is because of the piezoelectric qualities of quartz. The reason why quartz can amplify radio signals. There are some places in the world where it's not uncommon to find crystals on the surface of the land. These are especially powerful because they have found you in their natural setting. The sacred landscape wants you to know, just around the corner, exciting possibilities are waiting for you. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Sometimes they won't be apparent at first. Nevertheless, they are there. The more you see them and embrace them, the more these possibilities will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish even the smaller ones, no matter how tiny they may seem. Let go of expectations. Don't limit the way you think that wondrous events could appear in your life. 
be open and believe anything and everything is possible. So Spirit wants you to be at peace, but be expecting this miracle because there's one coming in some way, shape, or form. And even the tiniest improvements, Spirit wants you to celebrate those. And isn't that how it is, Collective? Isn't that how it is? All right, Spirit, talk to me out of this deck. What would you like to say to anybody about this situation, Spirit? Give them some hope about this situation. What hope do they have, Spirit? Here it says, you've got empowerment. You've got protection. There will be reconciliation, blessings, justice, career, family, psychic abilities, and commitment. That's the biggest miracle of all. Right, Collective? <laughs> all right. Thank you, Spirit, for reemphasizing that message to us. Can I please get one of these because somebody's going through something right now with this situation can I please get a sacred rebel because we are the sacred rebels on this channel that's what we are here that's what we are here talk to me out of the sacred rebels for whoever's going through this spirit can I get a message for whoever's going through this somebody's got beautiful brownish green eyes and their third eye is magnified in this picture as being wide open. Somebody is seeing the truth about their ancestral patterns of addictions and obsessions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Dream a beautiful dream, collective, and then conscious connection. Spirit wants you to dream a beautiful dream. You can click off if you want to or fast forward through this part. But for somebody, this is going to help them on their journey. <clears throat> the urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It also has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order and chaos. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. This is also the part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it into life in as many ways as possible. In how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create art, re relate to your community, write your poetry by moonlight, or bathe by candlelight. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe in... You may believe it to be an unworthy goal, yet beauty, genuine beauty rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. It is an expression of radiance within the heart and a love of life. If you have struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in human culture, then it is time you look to nature instead. Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thwarted, or contaminated by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, you may feel that your heart is dulled, minimized, or shut down. Small-mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense. However, you can shut the social disease of superficial, narrow definitions of beauty, thumb your nose at airbrushed images, and dare to love what is. Honoring nature is one example. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You can feel harmony outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. If you are brave and wild enough, you can even find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Sensing that change is just the creative process kicking into gear, realizing there is nothing to fear brings even greater beauty, harmony, surrender, and grace to the experience of life creating itself in more stunning forms through you. You are meant to dream of beauty. Sorry for the interruption. You are meant to dream of beauty and to create beauty in its far more holistic and creative definition. Beauty is meant to soothe the soul, inspire thoughts of love, devotion, and appreciation, and to balance the nervous system. These are healing effects, healing for the Creator and those that receive it. They are worthwhile, they are not meaningless, impractical, flippant, or trivial. A world without the beauty of art 
in all its various unique interpretations would be less colorful, less vibrant, less cheeky, and less a less healing place to be. Time that you spend dreaming of beauty and allowing it to be born through you in various heart-centered ways is worthwhile. Don't disregard it or discount it. The most beautiful dreams can inspire the practical, hard-working dedication required to bring them to life for the betterment of the world. This oracle also comes with a particular message for you. There is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. Remember imagine, imagination up here? The challenges in the imagination? <clears throat> Help me, Spirit. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. You may, therefore, feel inhibited in your ability to bring about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of this situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to it or through trying to impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that already lies within it. This happens when we accept the existence of inner harmony in all of creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed. By expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it is hidden, you will be more open to seeing the healing potential even in your challenges. Don't attempt to force the situation or issue to take the right shape. Instead, ask it to show its beauty to you. This might apply to your body, to your relationship, to your finances, your work situation, a new creative project, or anything else. From this place of inquiry, you will begin to grasp the creative genius of what is and unveil not only its potential beauty, but how perfect it is for you at this time, just as it is. In opening up to the beauty within yourself and your circumstances, you also open up to change. What we accept can change most easily. It is when we resist or deny that change when it slows down and suffering persists. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind, an open heart, and the healing process below. By the way, this oracle has come to you because you have the power to be a positive influence in whatever situation holds the most meaning for you right now. And you need to know that. I think that you feel that you've handled this wrong or that it's never going to change. But Spirit is saying there is movement, okay? And that your gentleness and your patience is going to bring self-control. And you will have a celebration, because you're seeing the beauty. You're seeing the beauty in death. These ancestral wounds and cycles are literally like watching somebody die slowly. And you're having to see the beauty in that. And that is not an easy thing to do. Alright, if you're able, I want you to do this with me, okay? Imagine, visualize, or perceive a softly glowing, radiant, golden light within your head. So, close your eyes and imagine a glowing light, like this candle you see here. Well, maybe look at the candle first and grasp the light, okay? Visualize the light within your head. <clears throat> it expands outward in all directions without losing its radiance or power. So watch the light grow. Close your eyes and see this light and watch this light as it grows ever bigger in every direction. And it's just as powerful and radiant as when it was small. Everything it touches, it casts into graceful, beautiful harmony, including your mind. Be with this light, be at peace and let it happen. When you are ready, simply open your eyes and say, The perfect harmony of beauty awakens within me and all around me. I serve that golden light in unconditional love and creative power. 
you have finished your healing process. And you may not feel like anything has happened, but with these with these oracle cards right here, amazing stuff happens, even though you cannot perceive it at the moment. You are going to see the beauty in this situation that you have found yourself in, and it is not a comfortable place to be. You're going to have empowerment. Spirit says you're protected. You will have reconciliation with this family. You'll have blessings justice, a career, and you have these psychic abilities. That's what's up, Collective. That is what is up. And what you don't see coming is a commitment. <clears throat> and now I want to find out more about this commitment, if I may, Spirit. May I please find out more about the commitment that we don't see coming? All right. Help me to see. I want to clear the energy off the board because that will affect the new message that we can get. All right, Spirit. Somebody's taking some risk. That's how this happened was they took a risk. And now they're being gentle and patient. And this is, this is something that's happened repeatedly. It's not just been one time. This person is tired. They're tired of living in this repeated pattern. And this is probably a twin flame, but I don't know that to be sh for sure. So let me look at this commitment that we do not see coming. Spirit, can you show me the commitment that we don't see coming? Show me the commitment, huh? The fool and the will for time, divine timing. One more time, Spirit says. Shuffle them up good. The end of something and the will of fortune. Something's going to end in the right time, Collective. Something's going to end so something new and beautiful can be committed to. Something may have already ended. All right, Spirit, talk to me about this commitment. Show me the energy of the person being patient in this commitment. Y'all, I cannot freaking make this up. I've got the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, and the world. This is almost over. This is almost over. The energy of this person is an emperor. They're a boss. It could be a woman. They're showing up as a boss that has a lot to say. But there's the things they want to say are feminine. They're in this feminine queen of swords. Why is the queen of swords here with the emperor? Because of the moon in reverse. There's a secret. This is, secret. this is a secret. Talk to me about this secret spirit. What is this secret? This is a secret I think that came out. Tell me about this secret. This queen of swords has a lot to say. <laughs> Victory came out, y'all. Recognition. What have they recognized? Somebody might have had public recognition for this secret. What have they recognized? What has been recognized, Spirit? That this is a dream come true. They have recognized that this is a dream come true. What is the dream come true, Spirit? Holy cow! The Five of Cups came out over here. That's like sad, sad, sad. How is this sadness a dream come true? How is this sadness? This is a lot of sadness. Like, over and over and over again, these cups have been spilled. Clarify the five of cups as being the dream come true. This is what's helping them to be 
so not be so defensive all right talk to me about this <laughs> whoa the tower coming out in reverse again and the strength in reverse talk to me about this this is about somebody that that was in love with them Somebody that was in love with them and did not get defensive with them when they were going through this cycle. This is about this person being patient. And they are they are finally seeing that this is a dream come true. They're seeing that you are their dream come true. That you are going to fulfill their wishes. What might that look like, Spirit? What might that look like? An Ace of Wands. It's a lot of passion. Something brand new, passionately beginning. What else, spirit? Balance. It's going to look like a passionate new beginning and balance. Somebody might get on their medication. They might start medication to help them with this addiction. What else, spirit? Show me this relationship once this person steps into their power. What happens after they get this balance restored? This is truth coming out. This is truth coming out. Somebody's finally speaking the truth here. Cutting through these secrets. And finally, justice, baby. Justice. This is going to be made right. This is going to be made right. Show me what this emperor has on their heart right now towards this patient person. Oh, look. Look. <laughs> they think that you're the empress. <laughs> they think that you're the empress and that you're going to walk away. Or maybe they realize that you're, you're the woman. You're their match in life that didn't walk away when they thought you would. You, you didn't walk away when they thought you should have or that you would have. You did not fight. You were patient and gentle. You weren't defensive. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Spirit says there's about to be some movement. This could be literal movement. Somebody is about to get in something and make a move. And this is an overcoming energy. What is going on with this movement, Spirit? There's about to be some movement, y'all. Wow. <laughs> there he is with good using good judgment. There he is using good judgment. And for some reason, though, this night, this other night, the Knight of Swords is coming back with a message of what they've learned. I think this is the same person. They've learned this lesson. They've gone into this isolation and they've figured out how to use good judgment. That's what this is about. This is about them learning how to use good judgment and overcoming this. Maybe literally moving because they've overcome this. And there's about to be action taken. What, what are they taking action about, Spirit? They're about to take some action. What's this action about, Spirit? Oh, baby. They're about to start something. I think they're about to move somewhere new. This could be a job. There's there's an ace here. There's all the aces here so far by the ace of cups. This isn't about love. This isn't about love yet. This is about somebody's passion and their money. And knowing that this woman right here stayed when everybody else walked away. And they were gentle and they were patient. <laughs> this empress. This could be a twin flame or it could be a wife. 
And then I have the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, which is stability. What you don't see coming is this person is finally going to be stable and probably have a job and a place to live because of this honesty. Somebody finally put honesty to this situation. All right, spirit. I got to figure out what's going to happen next here. Y'all might not want to know, but I, inquiring minds, want to know. Talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles, spirit. Talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles. Talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles for this Emperor and Empress. <clears throat> spirit says health and leadership. Some situation that needs resolution is going to be resolved and healed. Consider a career in the medical field. It's time to replenish your energy and fully energize to prepare for what's next. In leadership. It's time to step up into a leadership role in your life. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position, and your finances are going to greatly improve once you step and step into your power. This person's health is going to improve because they're going to take a, take a leadership role in their own life. What else, Spirit? What else does this Ace of Pentacles represent? This is mental health most likely for this person. But it, no, it doesn't have to be. If it's not addiction, it could be mental health that this person is struggling with. But the, the songs that were coming through were about drinking. There's something better. Spirit says there's something better. What does that mean? Somebody's an explorer and perfection. So, there is something better. Keep trying. There are no mistakes, just opportunities to learn and grow. You may be called to explore careers that match your fearlessness and curiosity. You may need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. The Spirit wants you to explore that there's something better. Explore that and progress, not perfection. Give up your perfectionism. It's causing delays in your finances. You will never get ahead if you don't overcome the fear of failure. You are enough and have what it takes to improve your finances. This person is going to be rebuilding. This Knight of Cups is rebuilding. And they have a cup of love. They have a cup of love. There is love here somewhere. Manage your time better and delegate tasks to be more productive. Consider careers in management. Think of the greater good more than yourself to achieve a better outcome. I want to know where they're headed with this cup of love. Spirit wanted me to get these cards out a while ago. Talk to me about this cup of love, Holy Spirit. This man has a cup of love. <laughs> the Knight of Cups is a love knight. He's not moving, though. He's just standing there thinking about it. Talk to me about this man, and that's the only cup we're missing. There's my six of cups, y'all. The one I was dreaming about last night. His cup of love is in the past. It's a past life connection. Something from the past. That's where his cup of love is. Is he going to carry that cup of love to somebody's spirit? What is he going to do with this cup of love he's carrying? Whoa. I can't even hold on to this. I have the Knight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. This is a complicated love story right here. This person, what he's going to do with it is he's going to come in quicker with the truth. about feeling, or she, this doesn't have to be a he, this could be a she. This person's coming in quick with the truth about what's going on with their love. That's what's going to happen here. They're coming in quick with the truth. And the truth is that they want to own and trust in this solid foundation. This person wants to come in and trust in this, this solid foundation. And they're going to look for alternate forms of abundance. Because they have this heartache. 
this three of swords they have a heartache the truth is is that this person right now is worried about their money they're not worried about this cup of love that's why it's a knight of cups but look what you don't see coming is this ace of fire we see the ace of fire already why is the ace of fire here this passion that they have i think this person wants to work with you is what's going on show me this person's true feelings spirit the king of fire this person is is very passionate they feel very passionate about you the page of cups it's a friend of yours this is a friend of yours Show me their fantasies towards this individual. Show me their fantasies, Spirit. What do they fantasize about at night when nobody's looking? <laughs> the moon came out, which is basically about their secret, is that they want a harvest. They want a harvest. And it's going to happen. This is the, a feel of fall and leaves. They want a harvest. I found a feather too a while ago. They want a harvest, and they want to trust and have hope. Maybe they have a passion that they want to pursue with you to work together. Show me their thoughts about working with this individual, this empress. Show me their thoughts about working. Oh, baby, they know you all are called to do this. That's their thoughts. They know that they're called to this. And that this is a divine partnership. There's your love right there. I am not complicating this. They want to come and work with you. Show me their next likely move, Spirit. Oh, baby. Ten of Cups, all the way to the Ten of Cups. Their next likely move is to have this unconditional love and have their Nine Pentacles. They're going to get these Nine Pentacles. They're coming out of this ancestral pattern, and they are going to answer the call because of this unconditional love. Their heart, their heart was broken in the past so much. That this person is not really open to love. But your patience and your gentleness is opening their heart. And they're going to work with you. This person wants to work with you. Period. Alright, Spirit. Anything else you want to say before I close this absolutely beautiful message? I mean, if this doesn't really turn your crank, I'm sorry. But this is the kind of thing that turns my crank. All right, Spirit, can I have a message out of the shaman's dream for whoever might be resonating with this beautiful message? Can we get an oracle card for whoever's resonating with this? First breath. Oh, baby. Beginner's mind. Spirit wants you to start something new. And cosmic womb, the divine feminine. Y'all, this is blowing my mind. First breath, number 21. First breath. A fresh start and renewed curiosity. Natural trust, a beginner's mind. Do not squander the power of first breath, giving the old narrative mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Use it for new beginnings to animate a world you can play and create in. Do not underestimate the power of your breath and the magic of the word. And then six, Divine Feminine is Cosmic Womb. I've never seen this card. Creativity, the Divine Feminine. The Cosmic Womb is a reminder that you're undergoing a beautiful process of birthing a new self into being. You don't know who or what it is yet, but you know it's full of life and love and passion and spirit. It's the perfect expression of you, imbued with love incarnate and ignited by the vital spark received from the Divine. 
If you've had a difficult time in recent memory, feeling dry and stagnant or lost and unsupported, this is changing right now. You will feel newly inspired as so many ideas beckon for your attention. Know that you're safe to explore the expression of your rejuvenated creativity, releasing all judgment as your curiosity is piqued. You're in the most fertile cycle of your life right now, intuitively keen with heart wide open, mindful that each step in the direction of your dreams and desires is effortlessly supported by all the divine helps in the unseen realms. Spirit, <laughs> you're amazing, Spirit. Think it, please. Who are you talking to, Spirit? Please tell us who you're talking to by pulling trinkets. Oh my goodness, y'all. I have a nail. A nail. Maybe you're a carpenter or maybe you love one. Somebody's a card reader. I have a hand for intuition. I have a family's love is forever. A family's love is forever. A family's love is forever. I have a piece of that tiger's eye. It's a piece of tiger's eye crystal, I believe. Or if it's not, tell me what it, what it is. And then I have an arrow that says love. I have an angel. I have a teddy bear. Oh. A deer. <laughs> I have a buck. A buck. A deer. I have a heart in a hand. Somebody's holding their heart in their hand. I have, what do I have? Perhaps love, perhaps love, perhaps this will be love. Perhaps it will. I have a unicorn. I have a Susan B. Anthony. Y'all, look. I can't hold on to it, but I have baby feet. Somebody's about to take their first steps. I have a baby. Somebody's looking to have a baby. I have a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh, and with and laugh with. And then it has these hearts on the back. It's beautiful. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. I'm having trouble holding these. I have, so much of me is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. Beautiful. I have a dolphin. I have a leaf for the fall, y'all. I have a wing or a feather. I have a peace sign. I have a compass. I have a kitty cat. I have a peace sign. I have a cross. I'm having trouble holding them. I have a cross with Jesus on it. Jesus on the cross. I have a tree of life. I have another cat. Somebody loves cats. Another kitty cat. I have a pegasus. I have a turtle, a sea turtle. I have a seahorse. Seahorses mate for life. I have a shell with a starfish. Maybe your name is Shell. I have a four leaf clover with one of the leaves bitten off. I have a nursing cap and a heart. A nursing cap. Somebody might be a nurse. I have another compass. And I have a teeny tiny key with a heart. Trinkets for my other bowl, please, Holy Spirit. And I do close my eyes when I draw these trinkets. Wow. I have learned from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. I have another leaf for the fall. I have a tower. 
I have a feather. I have an identical feather. I have two identical feathers. And I just found a beautiful blue and white feather. I'll post a picture of it after the video is posting. I have a music note with a skull. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all are not going to freaking believe this. Yeah, you will. Good <laughs> grief. I have three cactuses. Three cactuses. Maybe this person has done this to you multiple times. I have a tree of life. I have a skull. I got that right for a change. I have two infinity signs. Two infinity signs. Another tower. Another Eiffel Tower. I have another Jesus. I have me versus me. I have a dragon. I have two identical arrows, because Sagittarius, I think, might be involved somewhere here. I have a little doggy paw. I have made with love, and this was definitely made with love. And then I have a rocking horse for that baby feet. <laughs> I have a Harry Potter nine and three quarters. I have an octopus because somebody had their hand in too many pockets. I have some cherries, maybe you're celibate. I have a ball for the baby, or you may play basketball. I have a crescent moon with a fairy. I have a horse. I have another tree of life that just went to the floor. And I have another hand for intuition. Rocks, please, spirit. Rocks, please, spirit. I have health, accept, joy, trust, faith. Friend and blessed. Alright, you guys. I hope this reading helps somebody, and I hope that you will let me know, even if privately, how this might have helped you and how it resonated with you. Because this is going to be somebody's reading, I promise you. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. And I am going to be trying to work on my Etsy stuff this afternoon. But if I have time this evening, I will do another reading for the collective. Have a blessed day, you guys. Bye-bye. As I was putting the cards away, I found this card stuck in the box of the Shaman's Dream. And it's called Me Talks, Repairing the Body, Mind, and Spirit. And I'm certain that this card is important to this reading. Eliminating toxic thinking, repairing the body, mind, spirit, and cleaning house. When the Metox card appears, it challenges you to discard the deep, dearly held judgments that you have passed over yourself and others. Release the people who you feel wronged or offended you. Recognize that they mirror the shadow aspects of your own soul. Yes, it is a tough pill to swallow. Only then can you cull from your life the toxic people you have allowed into your inner circle. It's time for a cleaning of your proverbial house. Get rid of the thoughts and personal judgments poisoning your mind. Eliminate the inauthentic beliefs of others you've adopted as your own. Do so before your mind takes, makes you sick and empty your literal cupboard of the unhealthy junk food poisoning your body. Fast one for one day or skip a meal to allow your body to cleanse itself and rid itself of toxins. Metox appears as a warning that you can no longer postpone the self-care and pampering you long for. The time is now. Do healthy maintenance on your body before you have to make repairs that you will never quite recover from. Metox has come to caution you that it is not too late, but you are at the 11th hour do not deprive yourself of the health you deserve. So somebody needs a metox in this situation. And they are going to get it. Maybe it's a sign that this person that's having these addictions is going to go to detox. All right. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.